just a quick video to show the upgrade I've made to Games Room 2, which you can probably see behind me, some nice shelving and that kind of thing. I to move around lots of things in the house, up, upstairs, here in the games rooms, and also downstairs in the lads' bedrooms to accommodate some more units in the other room. So if you ever watch the video, you'll see how I've been getting on for the last couple of weeks. Been a bit of bad grapples, got there in the end. Cheers! Right then, today's job is moving a few things around in the games rooms. I'm going to put, eventually put a table in that space and some units over there to put an old PC on which I'm going to run, run old games off uh, that I bought from GOG, which is good old games. So coming in the other room now, you see I've started moving some bits and pieces off these units. These units I'm going to stack in the other room, I've got some other AV units to go in. So I've got a few jobs to do, because in a couple of days time, with any luck, I'll have all the shelves for that wall. So next sort of four or five days should be quite interesting and pretty busy, so I'll keep you updated. Right, that's the first little part done. I've now emptied these units, and it's all nice and empty, ready to move, because it would have been too heavy otherwise. Right, now everything from there is emptied out onto here. So on this pile here we've got obviously PS2, original Xbox, PS3, Xbox One, small pile of PS4, and the rest is quite a lot of um, Xbox 360. So you'll obviously go on the shelving in the other room over the next couple of days. So no time to get those things moved into the other room. Right, so that's um, the two units moved. My wife's been good enough to try and clean up a coke stain that one of my friends was kind enough to leave me one games night a number of years ago. So, so yeah, and now I've stacked those two units there, and like I said, there's the old PC, just need to wire up. And now all these are uh, completely empty for more storage. I have things in mind from the these, but they are really, really good quality storage cabinets. Things. I got them from uh, Canam Cabinets in, in Canada probably up 15 plus years ago and they're really really good sturdy cabinets so that's looking quite nice in the corner there I think so anyway project ongoing right so that's a desk move from one of the boys bedrooms I've just got an old um, Samsung LCD then there for the time being but eventually that's where Tommy's gaming PC is gonna go which he's still saving for at the moment that's looking better I've basically used this desk because the boys have obviously seen all the recent uh, fashionable YouTubers and what and like it's one of those desks in their bedroom that goes right along there with each wall so that'll be coming from Ikea later this week along with my shelves so at the end of this video I'll show a quick video what their setup look like just as a point of interest because they're into that kind of thing but anyway that's looking good there I'll eventually get some kind of uh, chair to go with that as well that's just come along nicely now to go in there I've moved one of the units in there ready, which is that one, and then I'm, I'm not sure which way Ron's going to go yet, because on one of them is going to be that LCD TV, and on the other unit will be this nice big old Sony Trinitron CRT, which is quite heavy, so I need to decide which one is the most sturdy of the two units to put that one on, so that's what's going to happen next, I, I would think, right, cheers. Oh dear God, I've now got to carry all those boxes up two flights of stairs and build them all. How fun. Well there's the first one done at the biggest shelf, there's five of them in total. And two of the smaller shelves are going inside, obviously with it being the top of the house they've got the, the sort of the eaves there to, to accommodate. So I've still got a lot more graft ahead of me, but we'll getting there slowly but surely. I'm going to obviously leave the shelving themselves, which are there, till actually start putting the games on them to decide how wide I want them for different styles of game. But, like you say, slowly but surely again there. Well, there's the actual shelves built. I've obviously now got to put all the games on them and decide how wide all the shelves go. But, oh God, what a chew about. There's obviously two smaller ones on each end. 
and five big units. Obviously, went to IKEA yesterday. Last night, as I'm building, I found that one of those shelf units was damaged, which I didn't uh, notice at the shop because it was right underneath. So basically, I've had to drive all the way back to Newcastle again, which is 80 mile round trip today, just to replace one unit. So what a total mess about. So at least now that's done. I get the fun part of putting all the games on them, so it's um, done good anyway, it fits the wall quite nicely. Our measurements were okay in the end. That's all the shelving now put in. I've used extra shelves on the very left and right hand side, so a tall shelf to accommodate sort of the more uh, 360 games. I've got quite a lot of and also PS2 I've got so they'll go on each side, I think. I might have to uh, move a few shelves around, but we'll see what, like when I can put the games on, basically. So that's going to be next. So I've moved most of the games and you're ready to go on the shelves. I'm just going to put everything in alphabetical order. There is still the games cupboard in the other room I've got empty out with all like my, my older retro type stuff in, but this is, I guess, newer gen Xbox 360, PS2, PS3, PS4, Xbox One, original Xbox, and a few boxes of things. So I'll get in there again. So far, I put PlayStation stuff up there, Xbox on the side, and as you see now, we've got my old Nintendo to put on the shelves, so that's the next job. Right, I've finished doing the, the lads' rooms now, so that's just basically what they've got. A bit better desk. It's Tony playing Fortnite on Xbox at the minute. And uh, Billy's room's done as well. Bree's too embarrassed to let me show it. Finally got it entirely the way it finished. So this is obviously Games Room 1, which people have probably seen before on YouTube channel. The only difference now is I've obviously got the TV there. I need, still need sockets put in behind the units, but that's going to happen shortly, hopefully. So in there I have... At the moment, Xbox 360 and another Xbox One multiplayer phone. And that's a nice big Sony Trinitron at the minute with a Atari 2600 connected. And we're moving all the games into the room too. It means this cupboard is now full of controllers, which is uh, Gear 6, which looks a lot neater now. Again, this needs a lick of paint. This room one needs a lick of paint. It's the last room in the house where they get decorated since we moved in. 10 years ago so it needs some little work to brighten up and I'll get a nice spotlight in here as well like the other room which is tons brighter so again I'm pleased with that and then if we come through in the room two which is a lot brighter all my usual stuff you've seen before me PVMs and such like on the units there my um, TV then side so on this side you can see a couple of boxes and such like got a tie 2600 stuff Vectrex in television, links in my one when we drag your game. A couple of videos, and then at the bottom there we've got PSP, PS Vita, up to PS4, PS3, PS2, PS1. Moving across, got NES, we've got uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and also um, other stuff. And the other box there, got various games I haven't got boxes for. Then you're down onto SNES, N64, GameCube, Wii U and my three Switch games, and DS, moving along, we've got Dreamcast, normal, pal on the left, and my Japanese ones on the right, up onto Saturn, and PC Engine, we've got Mega Drive, the Amapal games, the Japanese games, a couple of math system games, maybe Game Gear ones, 3DS, then, then uh, on the way, then moving across. Obviously, got them um, other items on top, just trying to make it look a bit uh, nicer. You got some suds across there, then you've got Xbox One, obviously, left space because that's probably going to grow quicker more than anything. You've got original Xbox. Now moving across, we've got quite a large 360 collection. And finally, on this side, a couple of big boxes. We've got Neo Geo, 
That's 3D art. In the bottom, got Neo Geo handheld. And I've got the Wonders One games. So I'll have a quick spanner, spin around now. It's obviously an old, really old gaming PC that would run all my old point and click games on. And a little 14 inch PVM, which I'm not sure what to plug in at that yet. Possibly some Japanese consoles. I'll have a spin around. Last job to do really is put them pictures up there, which I'm unsure where to put them yet. So there you go. The beauty of that sofa it spins around super easy, so I can watch the telly on that if I need to. Or I can spin it around and play on these consoles and do with that sofa. That's why I like it there, just sat in the middle. And there we go, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video.